What's going on you guys? So uh, right now we're doing a review for the uh, ATN X-Site 2 and it has the power of 5 to 20 magnification. So uh, what's going on here is uh, this is basically a smart scope. So this is the box that comes in right here and so when you open it do the right way. So it'll come with the uh, instructions here and also it comes with uh, the documents for it and it also comes with um, these uh, sights here so that you can sight in a bunch of your other optics that you happen to have so and also it comes with the ATN um, uh, optics here it has a list of them and is also by primary arms so that is what it comes with also comes with a uh, little uh, rag to uh, clean your optics with and um, so also comes with um, basically a, kind of a magazine of other smart stuff there are smart optics that you can come with it comes with a uh, like a range finder a sight scope and a couple of uh, other HD series that you have here and a bunch of other optics such as night scope and uh, binoculars a bunch of other stuff so that's cool and also comes with a quick start guide as well and also um, comes with the card for uh, aligning uh, your infrared beam so that you can uh, sight in for uh, your um, thermal view and thermal vision and also comes with uh, if you want you can have a power kit with it that uh, keeps the battery charged and you connect it to your stock as you um, are using it out while you're hunting or at the range so this is what it comes in. It comes with this nice little handy bag here. Now, at first, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see this comes with kind of a bag, a little pouch here, that holds your infrared uh, laser with it. Alright, so this is what it comes with, and it has comes with the batteries as well for it. And so, here you go for that one. It also comes with uh, basically what this is. It kind of keeps the glare out for sunlight, and I'll put that on once we get the scope out. So this is it here, and uh, it comes with the uh, cover for it here. And uh, I'm gonna put this on. So this is what it looks like. It looks pretty cool. Sorry about the squeaking. So kind of looks pretty badass for you guys. So. Um, what it also comes with is that uh, you can have an app that connects it to the uh, So uh, the app that you have here will be called, um, well, let me get it for you. Let's see if I can find it. So the app is called Obsidian. ATN Obsidian. You get it for free. Here and see here you can connect your device on it. All right. So um, smart HD channel and what this also can do is has GPS on it. Has a GPS on it, and uh, so these are your controls for it. You have the power. You have the uh, um, controls here for it as well. And so what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to connect this to the um, app. I should have done this earlier. I'll be right back. Just a second. All right. So here we go. So it is connected to the device, so you have shortcuts here, so you have system menu. So what you could do here is you can control all the settings from what you could do on here, if you could see through that, on here through the device. So what you could do is you can uh, set up the microphone, video quality, um, brightness uh, settings, you could switch it to the um, any GT, uh, GPS. And uh, also what you can put on here is uh, you can, um, look at the display settings, photo mode, and um, video and review. So, let me put your settings here. Alright, so that's one thing for the system menu. You can also set the environment. So, um, for here you can set in the humidity. And uh, let's see if I can get this for you guys. So, 
setting the temperature, all the ballistics in here. And so, uh, that is one thing you can do as well. Okay. So, there's that for you. As you can set it up for the app. And so also what you can do here is um, you can, I believe you can start the recording of it. And also you can switch it to a uh, night vision mode and also light sensitivity, sensitivity. And so, what you can also do is uh, you can record your shots from here. So it has an HD lens and uh, you can also work on the uh, focusing on here. And also you have a little, this opens up right here. And so what you can do is you can plug in an HDMI cord to uh, plug in and uh, also you can plug in a memory card and you can also charge it and uh, what you can uh, mainly do with this is uh, you can also charge it if you have chargeable double A's so what this takes is it takes four double A batteries and it comes in here and it does not come with the uh, four A batteries so you kinda have to put put your own in there So, what um, also I'd like you to see is that you can set the infrared on here, and uh, I probably will not be able to show it to you because I also have not read you know all the uh, instructions, believe it or not. So I'm gonna see if I can connect this thing to the Wi-Fi and see if I can uh, connect it here. All right, so the battery is too low right now. On uh, in just a second. Uh, I'm going to flip this, thank God for editing, I'm going to flip this and see if I can connect to the Wi-Fi here in just a second. So hopefully you've seen all that and so uh, one other thing that this is great for is that you can set up your own ballistics to uh, a bunch of rifles. So it has different uh, settings to profiles. So uh, let's say you could put your ballistics for like uh, my 300 Win Mag, you can put it in for the AK and my AR. And so what you can do is you can flip it to the settings and so you can just take it off, put it on your rifle, and just flip it to the AR settings. And so the only thing you'll have to change is the, um, hold on, let me take a sip of my little caffeine here. So you can switch it to the environment, such as humidity, where the wind's blowing, and also it has a compass on it. It has a compass and it shows you the rate of elevation. So up here and down and uh, what you will see in the optic if I don't know if I can show this to you guys I'm gonna try here I don't know if you'll be able to see this so just bear with me here if you could see this um, you can if you I'm, I'm hoping you can see this and if not I'm just gonna cut this out and so what you could see here is you have a gauge well, a measurement that will show you the elevation and also the uh, angle of which is tilting it. So, that is one great thing on. So, if you're sitting on a slanted hill, it will change it for you. And so, one of the main things with this is really cool is that you could set up your uh, range. So, what you do is you'll have a button that says uh, uh, calculate range. And so what you'll do is you'll have a point and line that will say put on top of the target. So you put it on like top of a deer, top of your steel plate target, whichever, and then you put it on the bottom of it. And then it'll calculate the uh, distance for you and um, once you have the windage in it, which uh, it'll tell you. And so with the windage, you got to put in, 
if you have a wind gauge or anything like that, you got to put that in and you got to tell what direction it is going. And after that, just put that in before you even go shooting and uh, it'll do all that for you. So all you have to do is just uh, calculate the distance and then um, you can do a magnification from 5 to 20 on it. So after that comes around, you can um, record your shots. You have, uh, I believe, three options. You can record your shots, uh, recoil activated, so this thing is kind of constantly recording and so what it'll do is uh, once you shoot it'll record three seconds before it and three seconds after you shot to um, uh, capture everything. You could set it to certain amount of seconds afterwards with your shot and also you can just put on just uh, recording uh, whenever you tell it to. So. Uh, that's one neat thing, and also with the, the night vision on it, I'm not going to be able to do the night vision because it's, you know, light out. And so with the, the night vision, you could change the color from like black and white and to green and to uh, whichever the options say. And also with the infrared, you can um, get heat signatures from uh, different things. So let's say at night you got maybe something's hiding in the bushes, you can switch it to that. And so you could see really what's going on, depending on how you hunt or how you shoot, whichever works. So this is basically the sniper's paradise, is what I would call it. And um, so with the uh, wireless internet service for that comes with that. And um, so as well as um, this thing comes in about brand new. It used to be a couple grand. Now it's uh, a little under a thousand dollars, depending on which model you get. And uh, so, as you will be uh, seeing through this, um, if you're not too tech savvy, you don't have to be. Uh, it's pretty easy to learn this, and uh, once you get everything set up on the uh, scope, get the ballistics in, get the velocity of uh, your cartridge as well. And so, what also you can do is you can put in, um, like, let's say when I shoot my 300, I shoot 180 grain, and it's like 2,500 uh, feet per second velocity, and so just a bunch of that, and. Uh, so as well as doing that, you can, like I said before, you can switch it to each rifle. You got to put all the cartridges in, so it can give you the most accurate shot that you can get. So um, as well as that, um, you see you have a Picatinny rail here for your infrared, and also you have a kind of a um, focus here for the beam that it'll send out. And so I can't show you the beam right now. And so as it's on, and so it is supposed to tell you uh, and, and calculate the, um, the like whether it's north, south, any of that. So right now it is pointing north. I'm pointing north right here. And also you can put the time in. You even put the date. So I have it on 24-hour time. It's now 15.32 right now. And so uh, you can do that as well. And so if I look through here, it tells you the magnification. You can easily press for the magnification, just put up or down on it, and so you can mag magnify it all the way up. So this is a digital scope, you basically have a square uh, screen on it, and uh, with this, um, this prevents like the glare from sunlight and all that, so if you're like shooting in the sun, and you get the sun beaming down on you, you don't want that glare to uh, screw you up at all. And so, um, I would recommend just keeping this on if you have it on your rifle and also when you take it off you immediately want to turn it off absolutely so turn off your device yes and so what you want to do when you turn this off it runs the batteries pretty uh, pretty fast so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to immediately before you even put in the case is uh, take the batteries out and I particularly suggest using rechargeables these are just energizer and so um, uh, use rechargeable batteries so that you can have like a battery pack on it where you don't need to put batteries in it and you can just plug it in and also that as well so I'm gonna put this back on this thing's a little bit of a pain to put back on for the HDMI and uh, it takes any SD card that is small and so you can, when you record your videos or photos, you can also take photos on this as well, just saying. And so um, one thing that's also good for the video recording is that um, 
if you shoot your deer and let's say it runs off, you can track it with your scope and see where it runs off so that you don't have to guess or you know see. Of course, you could still do that even without having to record it, but you could still see what happens. So as this goes on, has with this is great so that you can just put your eye right up to it and so that nothing else will bother you. So you take this off. And so also what you'll see is, this is what you'll see through. It's a little tiny lens, and I know it's shocking that, you know, how can you know, a glare get through that, but it really can't. So then you put your cover on it, and then you just put this bad boy back in here. And then you put this in first, because it's kind of like a little metal case around it. And then you put this baby back in here. put it facing down, wrap it around here. And so these have Velcro on it, so on the inside you'll have uh, two Velcros here and here. And so what, all you gotta do is just strap it on through here and then put it through here. So there you go, you can pack it with you in the range, right? and I do not recommend leaving it in a uh, case or leaving it in your safe either so um, also this has a uh, warranty of uh, I believe three years I can't really find that right now specifically for you guys so um, also um, it'll also give you um, a guide for um, using you know siding it in doing a bunch of that and with the uh, mobile applications and doing all of that so you can also change your uh, rectile as well to uh, let's say so I have mine set up as if like you know on a um, on a trichicon so um, I know trichicon has a mo different reticles for it but it's the standardized one and so um, I also want to show you here because it'll show you on the scope here if you could see it, it shows you the options for, uh, so like for your ballistics, you can put ballistic coefficient, bullet weight, initial velocity, zeroing range, and sight height. So that's where you can zero it in and uh, put it on paper. And so you can also save the settings here to where you can put it on the profile like I was telling you earlier. And so um, the app for the uh, ATM Obsidian is completely free don't need to buy it at all you just have to buy this so that's great and um, I suggest you get the battery pack I don't have it because I get this is a Christmas gift believe it or not and so uh, you can do that and that is really just about all that it uh, has to do with this and um, it is it is magnificent I mean it is it's really great and so um, one thing that um, I would suggest to you guys is uh, one thing which I'm sure this is going to be a you know duh moment is don't turn the night vision on while it is light out. So when I got this, I tested it out for the uh, uh, night vision, and it worked absolutely great. It is wonderful, and you can see so well, and it works better in uh, like a full moonlight. And uh, so you can get better. And also in the winter time, you might want to put the light sensitivity on low because a lot of light, at least in the city, I'm sure when you're out hunting, it's a little different. But when you're in the city, a lot of the street lights reflect white very well, so it's pretty lit up, and you can kind of see where you're going on that. And so you might not even need uh, that. So um, this is my review for that. It is very well put together. It is the best optics I have ever seen. And um, if you want, if there's any information that I haven't given you guys that you would like to know, I'm going to put the link for the ad for this as well. And so, um, if you want a little picture of the infrared, this is what it will look like here. So, and also, back here, like as this viewer, you know, doing your ops here. And so, it is wonderful. It is the greatest, it's, it's the greatest scope I've ever seen. I did not know they could make things like this till now so um that's gonna be it for you guys i hope that uh this was pretty beneficial to you and uh the price range for it like i said earlier is uh
pretty well. I mean, you could get a you can get a you could probably build an AR for the price of this. But um, the thing is, is this is kind of one of the optics for your rifles that you know you only kind of need one. You don't need to spend like a bunch of different ones. Like, a, and uh, there's another one that is smaller than this that does like a magnification of one. So if you want, you can get that one. <clears throat> I only chose the uh, the five by twenty. Uh, magnification just because uh, my rifles I shoot a pretty long range about a hundred yards or, or 100 meters or more so um, that is just going to be it for you guys I hope that uh, this was beneficial to you and uh, I'm going to leave the link for the ad for um, that below because it'll demonstrate the uh, calculating of the uh, distance on there as well so um, it's pretty cool so um, I'll send that to you right in the description below, and please click on it, like, and subscribe if uh, you want to see more of this. I have other uh, reviews coming up pretty soon, and uh, hope you guys have a good day, evening, or night, wherever you are.